Hey, what's going on, everybody? Important realization and some makeups to bring to you guys today. Um, so Jesus is Lord of all is what I'm going to talk about. And um, the subtle difference between um, like Trinitarianism, modalism, and um, what practically that ends up meaning. So, uh, until like a couple of days ago, I just, um, for the last pa past year, I uh, have been known about God does all, and he gives all life, breath, and all to all, and other such verses which become very plain once you're actually reading the, especially if you're reading the concordant version, but once you hear these things and that, uh, check it for yourself. Um, but what I didn't realize is, and this big thing is that Jesus is Lord of all. I don't know if you guys can hear this wind, this that crazy storm's going on, crazy. And um, but yeah, what it means that Jesus is Lord of all. Um, the big difference is that since <clears throat> Christ, Christ is the origin of all creation. And so, um, well, you know, God made Christ his son. That's a big important relationship because the son is doing the father's work. And how is the son doing the father's work? Well, he's reigning over the entirety of the creation. And that's the, the fact is that Jesus is Lord of all. And he gives to all life and breath and all what haven't you received that he haven't given and that haven't been given to you. And so the whole thing is of him, and he's reigning. Jesus Christ himself is reigning in all of us, the whole creation, and everybody, until the last enemy, um, you know, all his plans get taken care of as they're planned to, to hap happen, <clears throat> and they unfold in real time of sorts, and then... Yeah. Pretty, yeah. It's hard to say much more than that, I guess. But Jesus is Lord of all. That's where they say Paul is saying that, you know, if you confess that Jesus is Lord of all, that's it. Uh, it's a showing of salvation, a uh, result, or, and, uh, or proof. And, and I get it now because it's, yeah, it's just so the big difference is. Since Jesus is doing this all, for, for one, the relationship that we have to who's doing this all is different because we understand that it's Jesus and not just God. Because when you say God is doing it all, you can still, or at least I think for me, it's like you'd still break it up between, uh, I guess, um, like God and Satan in a sense. And then also, like, I can, you know, still like making a division over things um as you know and the big thing is i am so where did that come from right <laughs> i am and uh yes yeah, so that's my new realization i just haven't given and i'm living <laughs> and um i hope that helps you guys a little bit too um Jesus Christ is Lord of all. And that's the way it is. And I uh, believe it or not, is what it is. And it's like, oh, well, because that's the question is like when you're like questioning, like, well, what part of it is from Jesus or from Christ, you know, it's not, or what part's from the God, and it's not. It's like the whole thing, like, Including you thinking that as a whole thing. Um, so, hope that helps you guys. And remember when there, the, the spirit of Christ is there's freedom. Or something like that. But uh, and he's in all. And he's doing it all. And so you can compartmentalize that as much as you want. But like... It's, a word by word it's a you know like if you want to be thinking of pure and good things um just real quick like i'm gonna add that uh ace theo 
It was really good. He wrote about, um, okay. but anyway, Jesus is Lord of all. Keep in mind, it's or not, I guess, but uh, it may help your understanding. Peace.